A woman was taken to the hospital after getting caught between the crossfires of an apparent road rage shooting incident near a Philadelphia college. Footage shows what appears to be a firearm on the street as police rope off the crime scene. According to local reporting, two drivers were shooting at each other near Temple University, and that law enforcement apprehended the suspects. The police said the woman was in one of the suspect's passenger seats when the incident happened. Locals in the Cagayan province of the Philippines were recovering after Typhoon Inching battered the northern Philippines with floods and landslides before blowing away from the country on Friday. The typhoon left two airports damaged and aggravated a calamity caused by back-to-back -back storms hitting in recent weeks. There were no immediate reports of casualties from Inching, the 13th major storm to hit the disaster-prone Southeast Asian archipelago this year. The typhoon, locally called Mars, was last tracked over the South China Sea about 100 kilometers west of the northern Philippine province of Ilocos Norte with sustained winds of up to 150 kilometers per hour and gusts of up to 205 kilometers per hour, according to government forecasters. It is expected to weaken further before hitting Vietnam. The typhoon flooded villages, toppled trees and electricity poles, and damaged houses and buildings in Cagayan province, where Inching made landfall Thursday afternoon, provincial officials said. More than 40,000 villagers were evacuated to safer ground in the province. The new damage will complicate recovery efforts from two powerful storms that lashed the northern region in recent weeks. Tropical Storm Trami and Typhoon Kongray left at least 151 people dead in the Philippines and affected nearly 9 million others, mostly in the northern and central provinces. More than 14 billion pesos in rice, corn and other crops and infrastructure were damaged. In the hardest-hit province of Batangas, south of Manila, at least 61 people died in floods and landslides. More than 630,000 people were still displaced due to Trami and Kongray as of Thursday, officials said, including 172,000 who remained in emergency shelters as Inching blew across the country's mountainous north. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. decided not to attend the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Peru next week to focus on recovery efforts, Communications Secretary Cesar Chavez said. A fierce snowstorm brings traffic to a standstill on Interstate 40 in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. 
The state's governor has declared an emergency after the storm left tens of thousands of people without power. The storm is bringing heavy snow, strong winds and freezing temperatures to the northern two-thirds of New Mexico and parts of eastern Colorado. Forecasters with the National Weather Service are warning that historic amounts of snow are expected to fall through Friday, as much as four feet in some locations. Executive orders issued Thursday by New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham unlock state funding for emergency response efforts. She says more than 250 snowplows have been working around the clock to clear roads and the New Mexico National Guard is helping.